No. Who are you summoning? This is freaking me out. Stop. Stop. I don't like this. I gotta go, I think. What is going on? So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to SCP Containment Breach. If you guys can already tell by the background music, we got a slight problem. We have now entered version 0.58 of this amazing update to the original SCP, and now we've got new zones, and we've got five new SCPs. About three months ago, we last experienced this game, and back then it was extremely intense, but I guess with the new introduction of even more SCPs and copious amounts of new zones, this is gonna be an amazing treat. I've been waiting for this game for months to update publicly because that's when they roll out like the big changes, and I am extremely excited to re-experience this. So much so I'm gonna cut the intro short right here, so if you guys are ready for this, leave that freaking like rain and let's jump straight back into SCP. Alright then guys, we are finally back in the facility of SCP. Let's just get this started off then. So still we have the sleeping soldier. Uh, definitely sleeping, not dead. I mean, it's nice to know that the place is that safe. People can just nap wherever they want. He's definitely napping. We also got this wet floor sign placed over what looks to be uh, whatever that is in the ground. It looks a little bit more than water. Probably should have cleaned that contamination up. But you know what? I'm going to leave that exactly to them. Let's go ahead and check what is back here because this has changed up a fair bit. We have like computers with documents. What? How many people are still unaccounted for? The freak? At least half. Everyone from the upper levels has been cleared, with only a few missing. Whoa. We have most of the security and research teams here. Most that's of awesome. the people that are missing are from the lower levels. Dang. So I'm guessing that's where we might find more things. What? We have multiple Guys. accounts for SCP-106 and 173. Right. We've only heard a single report for SCP-049. The others, I'm not sure yet. Uh-oh. Right, Currently, the game doesn't have subtitles, guys. I would have enabled them if I could, but we got some stuff here that I guess we can read uh, to do with, like, emails, but we can't actually access the computer, you know? Wait. Hello? Guys, something knows I'm here. Oh, whoa! Oh, okay. We better get... What's going on? It sounds like there's something down there too. Well, we've seen enough of this guy to know that all you gotta do is get the freak out of his way. He is a fairly dangerous one. Oh, he also merges through walls as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way and shut the door behind me. It doesn't matter though, guys, because watch this. Wow, through we go again. Whoa. Yeah, you can already see we've got some new rooms here. This one's got some like uh, plantation in. It looks like they're trying to do something alongside a carpeted rug, which really makes the place feel a lot more lively. No, it doesn't. Got a staircase leading up somewhere here and a door there. I mean, if I see a staircase, I'm going to try and ascend upwards just to see what's going on. We have pictures of, I guess, Hi. just standardized stuff. What is this? Hold up. We got like an office space right now. So this is adding another layer of lore. Let me close the door behind myself. Can we get any collectibles around here? I don't think we actually can. So this desk belongs to Cole Anderson. Maybe down the line we'll be able to find a document relating to him. There's a few more here. So this one with that dual monitor setup belongs to Dr. Z? What the freak was that? Hold up. Um, can someone explain what? Looking like this dude was playing I Wanna Be The Guy is final moments. I mean, a good way to go, I suppose. One final office just at the bottom here, and we do have documentation of some kind, so close this. Patreon offices. Oh, okay. This game, guys, is on Patreon at the moment, and I think if you sign up, you get, like, weekly updates so you can see everything changing as it goes. So it might be something you're interested in. Looking like we got a series of math equations right here, some writing along the top, and by the emptiness of the room, we kind of determined that no one gives a crap about it. Wait. There is... Uh-oh. That's the stone statue. So... Oh, great. Oh, boy. Is he downstairs? Because I gotta be real careful if so. Woo! There is no door to close this off, so I guess I gotta go. Watch the blinking. Oh, God, he's right there. I can say... Oh, my God! Oh, my goodness me! <laughs> Man! I mean, new SCPs aside, this one alone is much more difficult to dodge now. Because you can literally hear him moving behind you. Whoa! freak is this zone? It's almost like a ventilation room of some kind. You can see how deep this goes. Once they start adding like the story and stuff like that, guys, and you got to get from like zone to zone, this game is going to be absolutely incredible and like a once in a lifetime experience, I guess. So is this the new ventilation room or something? I've... Yeah. It's doing something. I guess based on how deep this thing is, it might make sense. The whole place is sealed off all the same. Can't pick up those notes. Do your thing and let's get the freak back out of here, I suppose. Yep. Sounds good to me. Whoa, look at that. You can see everything working too. Guys, this game is really, really cool. Like, okay, so as done before, that means that we can access the lower deck. Uh-huh. 
progression from the get-go. I'm loving it, okay? All right, let's keep going. We're gonna go the other way. We haven't even seen the five new SCPs, guys, but it doesn't even matter. This uh, whole place just feels so much more alive with the diversity to it, and the new ventilation room looks yes. incredible behind this door. Ooh. Like another semi-walkway. Some seats, which uh, I don't know why you'd want to sit there, to be honest. You know what must suck working in a place like this, though? There is no light source around. I'm talking like natural lights, guys. There's not a single window. I mean, we are underground, but that must be so claustrophobic, honestly. I would hate to work in a place like this. I seriously would. Let's keep going. Whoa. A freak. Whoa. Oh, boy. Guys, this ain't good. You can see the footsteps leading out of the room. Hey, this is bad. There is like some story legitimately here. The dude was attacked. What? Oh my goodness me. I'm legitimately freaked out by this place. We got the SCP-1499 right there. This one is bland. We got a documentation. I'll take it. Uh, 207. It looks like it's caged off more than anything. So I ain't gonna open that. What is this? You see that? Hold up. If I stand back a sec, it had like a searchlight. Look, you see? There's like a laser. I probably don't want to be caught by it in case it zaps me or something. Okay, run past here. There you go. So that's the gas mask I see. Take a look. What did I pick up? So SCP-1499. We've read about the mask already. Basically, don't put it on and you'll be A-OK. -okay. <sighs> Let's go in here. Wow. I don't know if that's trying to be like the imitation of blood or something. There's... Wait, can I keep taking those? Hold up. What did I just get? I'm not even sure what this is. I can drop the item, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that. They might be bullets of some kind, you see? All right, let's keep checking around this warehouse anyway. Not sure if there's going to be much more back here. We can kind of see into the other room. In fact, no, we can go through to the other room. I'm dying. He is done, dude. That guy is completely gone, but I don't think there's much more back here. After that, that's kind of it. We can assume, though, that whatever got this guy, based on the footsteps here, must have treaded also in this pink ooze, whatever it is, and made his way out of the room. So whatever else is roaming here, guys, it's walking around the facility somewhere, and we are probably going to meet it very, very soon. Should I open this? Like, it gives us the option? Oh, okay, so a can of soda? I mean, good. Now, I'm going to refrain from drinking that. You don't know what happens inside of that machinery right there. It could have done anything. Hello? Wrong. Just can't get a break, can I? That makes things very, very difficult. Even so much as just moving around like this corner wall, even if we're facing the same way, he still makes progress on you. So wait for the blink. Let me just see. He's moved away a bit. Interesting. Let me close it again. Let me just wait a sec. So you hear that? It's like he's moving away. Is it closer? Oh, he's still in the same position. Here's what we do, guys. We maintain eye contact. Walk this way nice and quick. I hope we can press the button behind us. We can. Thank goodness, and close that straight away. Let's go. Security checkpoint. Okay. I mean, we may as well go in here. All right. Take it chill. It's just simply decontamination. It's got to happen. We've been near some crazy stuff already. Hopefully, the stone thing gets decontaminated as well when he's coming through here. Dude stinks of trash. All right, let me keep going, though. It's more so the changes to the facility as opposed to these new SCPs. I don't even know what to expect or who they are, and it makes me very nervous the longer it takes to find them. Let me close that behind myself. So we may have a new one or two here. Hold up. Security level three. So hold up. I mean the door opened, so I mean skip the security level thing. All right, so in this one we have those glasses, guys. We do not need to wear that. How about it's the duck and it's playing the trumpet. Aha. And also the sweet bowl. Basically, guys, in this universe, if you see sweets in a bowl and have more than two, your hands fall off. He's back again. Wow. Okay, hold up, hold up. So open the door. All right, make this nice and snappy. He keeps staring at him. Here we go. Behind our back. There you go. Close it. We are good. Do you see that dude turn though? Snapping his gaze straight at us. So this guy as well just made his acquaintance with the place. All right. If I leave the doors open and get distance, I think we should be all right. Just got to get moving. Hopefully we don't encounter another one. In the meantime, I guess. Keep going. Oh boy. It's a dead end. I mean, I'll take- What the f what freak is that? Like a white duck or something? A pelican? Okay, back up. Here we go. I mean, it's going to slow us down in the ooze. It seems like we've kind of hit a dead end though here, you know, guys? Oh boy. Woo! Keep it going. The problem is that stone dingus is straight through this door here. So I don't know where we're going to go from this point out. The stone guy is gone. Thank goodness. So we're going back through this place here. I mean, I think that's it. Maybe he can't travel through this zone. So this is our resting place right now. It's just a case now of finding where the other areas we can go to are. We've clearly been that way because the door is open. So we got to go back on ourselves and try and find maybe another door. So the only other way that we had from this point on was where the stone dude was. And that was right through here. So blink. Here we go. He's no longer patrolling the halls right here. So this is free for us to roam. Let's go ahead and see exactly what he was protecting, huh? He literally just spawned in right now. You see that pop into existence? Now this one is going to be a bit more difficult, but we've got to try and get through the room. So wait for it. Okay, I'm gonna blink, open the door. Right, we better be snappy, guys. Okay, oh crap! Oh my god! 
The smallest gaze away, and he zaps like 10 feet closer. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Maintain eye contact, okay? Watch the eye meter. Through the door. Go ahead, close it quickly. Woo! Close encounters all around. What do we have here? Dude, this place just gets very, very windy. And if you could find a map, that would be awesome. So we could actually try and like make a plan of where to go from here on out. But I guess because the place is a randomly generated zone, it'd be kind of hard to do that. Whoa. What the freak is this? Hold up, close the door behind myself. What do we have here? Like a dome structure on the top. We have shelves looking very empty and a clipboard. That will eventually, I guess, be an item. I guess we're going to check out the only other door. So level one. This will lead up on the facility quite a lot. Do you see the computer? Can we actually, uh, I guess we can stand on it, which is cool. Interaction is still bare bones for that, so we're gonna leave that one. Upstairs, then, was where we had, like, the sky bridge type thing. You can actually see a little bit of outside. Level two is all locked off, so I guess going up to the top is gonna be our only option as well. Level three, here we go. Whoa, dude, that looks so cool. So it was daytime before, but it's looking like a very, very dark night out there. Very cold, and you could- What the freak was that? Oh, we got a problem, guys. We got a black hole emerging straight in the sky. The density to the stars in the sky, though, is just incredible. And apparently, that's what you would see if there was no light pollution coming from, like, street lamps and stuff like that. So, out in the desert would be the key place. What the freak is that little mass right there? What are you? Freak. Oh, oh my god. What the heck? Look at his shadow. What? No. Who are you summoning? Stop. Stop. Oh my god. What? Guys, who is that in the reflection right there? This is freaking me out. Stop. Stop. I don't like this. I gotta go, I think. Okay, let's go down here nice and quick. Whoa. I don't trust him whatsoever. You... Okay, thanks. Guys, there is nothing down here. So, why is it getting so dark? Guys, I don't like this. I'm getting really freaked out. I gotta move. I gotta go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why is it so dark all of a sudden? Is he making me go insane? I can't. What the freak? I can still hear it. What has it done to me? What the freak did it do? I can't see nothing. Guys, I don't like this. I gotta get away. I gotta get away. Keep going, keep going. I think this is good. Okay, I can't see anything. Has it messed with my vision? Is that the SCP? Of the it's always nearby. This is freaking me out. I can't even back up because I don't know what I'm backing up into. Let me keep running. I'm not even moving. I'm like stuck somewhere. Ah! What is going on? I see anything, guys. Oh! What did that thing do? That maybe found like one of the new SCPs? I'm not really sure what the heck that thing does or what it controls. That was so weird though. I wonder if we could have found documentation on that thing because I kind of want to know exactly what it does to the player. It seems like a very psychological aspect and it's very, very dangerous. I mean, it killed us for goodness sake. Either that or at least added towards whatever it was capturing is killing us. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna try and go back that way if the map seed is the same. Ooh. It's randomized again. You see this? So we're gonna have to try and find that place through sheer luck, I suppose. Maybe we'll encounter something new on the way, though. Ah, SCP-650. Look, dramatic music aside, you are not dangerous at all, so stop. Okay, so I've managed to find a downward scaling thing. I think located somewhere down here is the moths. But I'm not sure if there's going to be something else en route, I suppose. SCP-553, uh, apparently they are object class safe. I mean, I wouldn't quite say that. These things can minch up if you get nice and close. Things made of knives, basically. Look at this, though. They've even redone everything. That looks incredible. This game is shaping up to be probably one of the best looking free indie horror games I've ever seen. Dudes, your Patreon better explode. This is incredible. Oh, well, talking of exploding, those dudes will chop me up and probably do a similar thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, hop, skip, and jump out of here. It's like, this is their zone. If anyone tries to interfere, that's when there's a problem. But if you keep your distance, there ain't nothing they'll ever do to you. We'll leave those guys too, I suppose. I don't think there's anything else down the far bottom. And so it begins our trek once again, guys, back into the facility. Okay, we've got the security checkpoint. We'll get this done. Dude, he's right near the machine where if you put something in it, you can, I guess, refine it. We're going to leave him in there. We don't exactly need to see that SCP just yet. Let's... We're back here once again. Yeah, this room is completely unchanged, so I may go back now, guys, to the original ventilation room, and we're going to go the reverse way. Oh, hello. This one looks completely new. Let me shut the door. What is this room? Typically, when I see these sort of rooms, I see them as like a checkpoint thing. So I guess this is going to be our new way forward. This splits off into two directions, though they look like elevators. And we know what is down below. Let me just call it for one sec. Can we go up on this thing? We can. Nope. Oh, we can't. Dang it. I'm going to skip that nice and swiftly. So I don't think we need to go down there just yet because we've seen... 
Was, was I walking? Did I break my ankle or something? Freak. Um. You need my butt. Is that an SCP? Right then, he gets pleasure out of butts taking a seat on him. I mean, I guess the more we know, the better it is, guys. We know not to take a crap on that specific seat. Okay, we've came across a fairly dead-looking room. It looks fairly unkept. What do we have inside of here? So this is where we got stopped last time. First of all, what is this thing? We go ahead and take some of these documents here. This is surely going to cover some of the new stuff that we haven't quite seen. There's a lot as well. Yeah, so we got some reading to do. SCP-983. SCP-983 is a vintage mechanical monkey with a faded date located on the bottom of the left foot, placing its manufacture at some point in the 1940s by an unknown person or company. The monkey is dressed in the remains of what used to be a popular vest designed for circus ringmasters. In the monkey's left hand, there is a lightly tarnished brass ball. Try and say that three times. Each verse sung by SCP-983 appears to age the owner of the item by what is estimated by one year. By singing along with 983, the owner may deactivate the monkey which once done it results in a triumphant declaration of birthday from 983 at which time it will ring its bell once and produce a single gumdrop style candy from the bell so when we heard that thing it aged us so quick that we lost our eyesight i guess scp682 uh i don't even know what the freak that thing is it looks like a mass of mud almost like it looks like a clump of just something scp682 must be destroyed as soon as possible at this time no means available to scp teams are capable of destroying it only able to cause massive physical damage. 682 should be contained within a 5 by 5 by 5 meter chamber with 25 centimeters of reinforced acid resistant steel plate lining all inside surfaces. It is a large vaguely reptile like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely intelligent and was observed to engage in complex communication with 079. Oh my god. What? Not this dude. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh. Where is it? Is it right behind this door here? Hold up. Yeah, he is right there. We should be able to get round him. Hold up, so blink. Here we go. Let's do this. Keep eye contact with him. I don't care what you want from me. You are not getting it. Not this time anyway. Maybe in like five minutes when my back's turned to you. What the freak is happening? Guys, I don't know what keeps killing me at that point in time. I don't know if the do teleporting is doing it, but there is something I'm not seeing. Well, there we go for this episode, guys. That is going to be it for SCP Containment Breach. I'm not sure where the other new SCPs added will be. And I mean, if you guys know exactly where to find them or what they are, let me know in the comment section down below. I feel like we can definitely do maybe one or two more videos on this update because there is so much new content added and it really does get me intrigued to see what the end product with this is going to be. Once the story's in this, we can pick up like the different key cards, gain access to specific rooms, and I guess learn more about what really happened to this place it's going to really add to the experience and i cannot wait for that day but for this video though guys that's where i'm going to call it and i hope you did enjoy if you did why not drop me that like rating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys i of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one